Hi again then guys and welcome to another straight line performance build or at least in particular straight line performance build for Horizon 3 and this particular card doesn't have as much extreme top end performance as some other hypercars and supercars because it's more of a track machine it's more about the low end acceleration, the grip, the cornering but as it happens it certainly is no slouch when it comes to cornering it's the Ferrari FXXK based on of course the La Ferrari. Now for those who have already seen my top speed build for the La Ferrari, you'll of course recognize this paint job. It's some Maserati MC12 inspired livery. And I mentioned in that video that you can get that design from my storefront. You can also get this one on my storefront as well if you want it on the car. Now if you don't, and if you just want the tune, you can also find the tune on my storefront as well, as with all of my builds. So either way, just use the keywords in the description down below to find that on the Horizon storefront. But if you want to do the tune yourself, which chances are, if you clicked on the video, you probably do, then of course this is the video for you. Now as far as the drivetrain swap, some purists might prefer rear-wheel drive, and as you can see, the points are higher on that it is x-class with rear wheel drive so it depends what you want i've opted for all wheel drive because of the grip advantage and in particular the launch advantage that it gives you but it depends what you want as far as the rest it's fairly obvious just lower the car's weight increase grip you can't increase the power but just improve the car here and there in little ways now as far as the performance the acceleration in particular is great 1.5 to 60, 3.5 to 100, and as you can see, the top speed isn't bad at all. 223 miles per hour isn't as fast, of course, as the LaFerrari or many of the other supercars, but this just isn't that kind of car. You don't use this on wide open circuits or straight line drag races. You use it more on tracks where you need grip and just extreme cornering potential. This tune is to give you that bit of extra speed when you need it for the occasional straight section and for that it's good now for the gearbox you want a final drive of 4.4 then i would recommend individual gears of 2.5 1.9 1.5 1.2 0.97 and 0.77 then for the rest if you're familiar with my tunes you will know neutral camber neutral toe one degree of caster as far as anti-roll we've got those on 30 and 31 springs on 153 271 and the lowest ride height dampers on 12 19 6 and 9 aero i would recommend as low as possible but it depends if you want pure handling obviously increase it but if you want that extra top speed you'll need to have it lower as far as the diff i would recommend 100 percent on acceleration zero on deceleration and in the case of this car a 78 percent split in favour of the rear. That gives you a nice mix of the great launch and the great benchmark numbers, but also, of course, with more of the power going to the back to make it feel not too grippy, basically, at the front. You don't want the handling to be overly heavy and lose the car's manoeuvrability. Now, either way, if you get this from the storefront or if you use a variation of this tune, whatever you choose to do, obviously, I hope you find it fun and win races with it. Now if you'd like to keep up with other tunes that we've already done or tunes that I haven't even put out yet, of course you can check out the playlist that's coming up now at the end of this video or subscribe down below. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.